Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I want to share with you a secret, well at least not very well known way of acquiring free night vision equipment. And I'm going to share that with you guys at the end of the video. But first, what I want to share with you is this flashlight. Uh, now I do not want to turn into like the flashlight review channel, but recently I did a video about a headlamp made by the same company, Through Night, and that headlamp was insane. I, it took such a beating and it just kept it on going and going and going. I was really surprised by how rugged that thing was. Um, so I highly recommended that, but I know there were a lot of viewers who commented that that looks great, but I'm not really a headlamp kind of person. I'm a headlamp kind of person, but I, I, I know a lot of you guys weren't. Uh, so the company asked me if I would do another product review for another one of their headlamps and like I said, I don't want to become like the flashlight review company, but I said I, I'll do one more for you guys because that headlamp was so kicking the uh, awesome and I know a lot of people wanted to hear about a regular flashlight. So there's a flashlight that they make. Again, the company is called Through Night and this is, I'm not sure about the, this is either the T14T or the maybe the TI4T or that could be a lowercase l, the T lowercase l for anyway, it's their new <laughs> their new uh, slim profile uh, flashlight. It fits really well into like a bug out bag or something like that. And while this one does not have like the crazy like ruggedness of that headlamp, uh, for example, like for impact and stuff like that, it says like you can basically drop it. That's what it's uh, there we go. That's what it's rated for. But you know, here why don't we why don't we like you know let's just try. Let's see how high can, can this go up. Okay. That went up about like 12 feet or so in the air, and, and it still works. Okay, so, you know, it can take a little bit of uh, shocks to it, but it's not it's not made to, like, the, the headlamp, I was, like, whipping it at rocks, and it, it survived it. So, uh, this thing is not made for that kind of thing, but it, uh, you know, it can take a little bit of bumping around. It's also waterproof, and um, what I like about this is that it, it, the features that they build in are really kind of cool. When you click it the first time, it starts in just a really low power mode. It's just, they call it firefly mode. And I am a big fan of just a little bit of light. Like when you're outside at night, you know, just, you know, using your like night vision, uh, uh, sometimes you might want to have a little bit of extra light. And I hate it when you turn on a flashlight and it's like, boom, you know, this huge, you know, pile of light. You know, you do whatever you need to do, you turn it off, and then your eyes have all adjusted to the brightness, and it takes a while for you to get your night vision back. With this, it's just a little bit of light, so you can do whatever you need to do. Now, if you want more, it just half clicks. That goes to medium, then the brightest setting, and then it goes back to the firefly mode, and then medium, and then the brightest setting. If you half click it one more time, it goes into a strobe mode. So that's pretty cool. The, the headlamp had also an SOS mode, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, you know, the strobe is a way of getting attention as well. But uh, but yeah, it's just a cool product made by Through Night, and I figured I'd share it with you guys because that headlamp, headlamp ugh, the headlamp was rocking, and uh, you know they make they seem to make good stuff at least as far as I can tell. And I know some people wanted to hear about a flashlight, so this is a good, pretty cool one. And again, pretty small fits in to your, uh, your bug-up bag really easily. So now let's talk about a free way to get night vision gear. And to, to demonstrate this to you, I'm going to cut to nighttime and, and share with you. That, okay, when you hear what I'm gonna say, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. But listen to it, think about it. Because, you know, not everything has to be solved with technology and electronics and everything. There are some great things that, you know, are just, just right there, nature, nature gave us, and they can do a pretty good job. So listen to it, try it out, try it out for yourself, and, uh, and then see what you think about it. Okay, so let's cut to night, and we'll talk about absolutely free night vision technology. Okay, and here we are in nighttime. Now, I will, I will be totally honest. It's not actually night, it's getting close to night, but I'm a photographer and I know the cameras need light to in, in order to capture an image. So I'm kind of pushing it to make it look a little bit more like nighttime, but let's imagine that it really is night. And this is very applicable to real night. Now what I'm gonna say is that you don't need anything to see at night. You know, you don't need technology in order to see in the evening when it's dark out. your eyes have a natural ability to adjust to light. And I think a lot of people forget that and a lot of people don't give their eyes the opportunity to adjust to the dark so that they realize how much power you have right in these little 
you know, devices that are stuck right in your head for free. Uh, you know, if you let your night vision in your eyes uh, adjust for like five minutes, 10 minutes, certainly 15 minutes, a lot of people I think would be really surprised at how, how well humans are able to see in the dark. Uh, I know when uh, I was younger, you know, in, uh, you know, when I was like high school age, a lot of times me and my friends would go out to the woods and we would just, you know, go hiking in the dark at night. And it's really, it's amazing how well you can see once, you're, once your eyes get adjusted to it. If you're using a flashlight, and I'm not anti-flashlight, there are plenty of situations where a flashlight's kind of cool. Like, I mean, if you want to go into your pack and get something and it's kind of shady in there at night, you know, yeah, pop the flashlight on for a little bit and, and do what you need to do. But, uh, you know, for the majority of situations, there's moonlight, there's starlight, there's just, you know, kind of ambient light from light pollution that filters down. And while an environment may look very, very dark at the beginning when you, you know, first go outside, if you let your eyes adjust to it, you'd be astounded with how, how far you can see. Because that's the thing, is if you're using a flashlight, you are limiting yourself to only being able to see in the, that immediate area because your eyes become dependent on that flashlight. And you're, you can only see as far as that flashlight can throw. And for most flashlights, for most practical purposes, that's probably, you know, like 10, 20, Feet. I mean, you can shine it off in some direction, but when you're kind of just using it to see the ground in front of you, you really are essentially blind to everything that is off in some other direction. Whereas if you're using the natural, free night vision that's right in your eyeballs, um, you're, you're able to see for miles and miles because, you know, the moonlight is everywhere. The starlight is everywhere. So you, you don't have that sort of same limitation where you can only see this tiny little area right around you. In addition to that, if you're moving through an area and you don't want people to necessarily know that you're there, and I'm not talking about criminal activity, t activity. I'm talking about like, you know, like Mad Max, you know, without rule of law, you know, <laughs> there's a crash and there's like, you know, crazy, you know, whatever people. You know, you may want to move through an area and not necessarily attract the attention of people. Well, nothing attracts attention like lights. You know, that's why we put them, you know, flashing strobe lights on, you know, uh, your radio towers and you know flashing lights on cars and you know lights attract attention and if you don't want attention not having a light is a great way of doing that so give it a try I mean before you go say it's like you know thank you very much Praxis but I, I am fine with my flashlight I think I will just stick to that give it a try give it a try before you you know you poo poo it and say it's like you know things are fine the way they are give give, give a try to something that's worked for millennia for human beings you know even before you know, even when we had fire and things like that, we were still using our natural eyes to move through the landscape and, um, and using these tools that are for free right up in your head. Not everything has to be a tech solution for everything. There are a lot of things that are just innate, and we have them there. And, you know, you don't always have to, you know, use money and products and gear to solve your problems. A lot of times you have the stuff right at your fingertips or right at your eyeball tips, and uh, it's there for you to use. So give it a try. If you haven't ever done something like this before, get out there. I mean, start like maybe on like a night where there's plenty of moon or something like that. You know, you know and try at that level. But you know, once you once you experience that, try it when there's like a half a moon or a quarter of a moon or you know, no moon at all. And I think a lot of times you'll be really surprised with how much you can see, which is the tiniest bit of light, and these really amazing organs that we have right in our face. I think a lot of people forget how capable they can really be. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.